to do. The judge put out an order, and he's and in throughout this court case, they've spelled the name, uh, Rachel's name, R A C H E L L E R A C H A E L and R A C H E L. So this is from Doc's Pop. And I'm going to go, there's 14 results when I did this name search. And as you can see, there's a case that's open. That's the foreclosure. There was a new case brought up while this was going on because they had to have all three names. They spelled all three names um, in one one-page order from Judge Horn. So I wanted to show you how Docs Pop is running this, and Do Do Docs Pops is a third-party vendor that gives public access to the court records. And as you can see, that case is open. This case is supposed to be closed. If you see these closed, it'll say di disposed uh, disposition date. This case is open. This case is closed, and see right here, right there. So, anyway. That's still open. That's going to be important because R-A-C-H-E-L is what the judge ordered her to pay taxes to him. To the clerks, what he said, but to him. And then he rejected, of course, because she did not consent. So this case right here, I'm going to open it up in a minute and show the screen where I open this case up. Since he used that name for Rachel, that's who he ordered to pay taxes, that name. In a um, one-page order, he spelled her name differently. Um, and then he spelled the attorney's name differently as well in a one-page order, like they often do. And I'm going to open this up. That's the case, 236, as you can see. Let's go back up there to show that it's 236, right? 236. It shows the parties involved. And this happened, this did happen. Rachel was young and she got in a fight over a boy with another girl and she, w she was a loser in the end. She didn't lose in the fight, but she was a loser in the end. But the most important thing I want to go to, one of two things I want to show <coughs> is where she's ordered to pay this to. This is where the bio mother's birth certificate, she's ordered to send this to to be paid to Amber Woods at 4924 U.S. Highway, 35 North, Richmond, 25 a month starting April 2002. And that is the property that is tied to the daughter, my daughter's stolen identity and to my birth certificate. And I have that under the bio mother's birth certificate tied to daughter's stolen identity. Also, I want to show you that she had all this paid off in 2002, but they continue, continued on with it and they opened it back up. And let's see here. Usually this will have a disposition date, but it doesn't. Let's go down and she was ordered in 2002. She paid it off in 2002 or 3, no it's 2002, and it's saying this here, that's not true, still owes a balance of 2210 as of this date. Oh, did he still owes a balance of 2210? But then on 3 of 2004, defendant pays $512. It shows paid in full, right? And 10 cents.
buy an amount, 5, 12, 10, paid. See this negative balance in 2007? That would be back, one of the back property things. You see that? The negative $102.10 in 2007. And there's a trust. So Donald Wingett, who owns that property, uh, it has my birth certificate tied to, has a real deep tie to the the judge and uh, to the system. Of course, here's a um, this Main Street Acquisition Group, which is a different story because these trusts were tied to Fort Wayne, and of course, it's Gregory Horn in his court, right? March 16th, 2015. <laughs> she went in there February the 19th, 2015, and he threatened to throw her in jail. She is at, We're done with Judge Horn. He's crooked. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Might as well show this while I'm at it. Which I've done a video on this, but I'll show it again. I'll show this. Again, I just want to show you the property. Because it's 4924. Rustic Acres, Northrop. And I talked to Mr. Northrop. Since then, I have a video out on that. Donald Wingett, that's the councilman. Kristen Whaley, the deputy treasurer of Wayne, uh, Wayne County, Indiana. She left her number. She's the one that found this. It was tied to the 4393 U.S. Highway 35. And as you can see, it's rustic acres as of, and it's 4924 U.S. Highway 35. And it's the taxes for that. And Rachel bought her home in 2008. The 422 Randolph Street. This is for uh, 2006, payable 2007. There's proof in the documents that they took her clear back to 2005 at least, or 2006 in the tax to pay taxes. But here is 2006, 2007. This is when Wingett sold it. There was $5,107.96 owed. Uh, that's LB batch and, and AC number. Live birth 0421. Sequence 61. Well, that's my birth date. That would be tied to the birth certificate of Carolyn Coop that's been missing. The state of Indiana tried to cover it up. I have a copy, though. The girl up there helped me after many tries. And I think that's enough.